Hello. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is McKenna, for those of you who don't know me, and generally we cover true crime on this channel, but it's been a rough week, and so I've been talking about books for the last two videos. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the TBR for June, or the To Be Read for June. So this will cover all of the books that I plan to read in the month of June. Let me know what you plan to read if you are a reader, and if you're not a reader, let me know what you plan on watching in June, because I also love television. Okay, I love <laughs> the first book on my TBR is Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. This is a pretty sharp sharp? Yeah, it's a sharp novel. It's a pretty short novel about a reporter named Camille who recently got out of a psychiatric facility for some mental health issues and she is asked as part of her job to return back to her very tiny small hometown to cover two cases, two murders. They're both young women, I believe like early teens, and she has to reconnect with her mother, of which she has not spoken to in a long time, and she has to meet a half-sister that she has never met before. And this just delves into all of the creepy stuff that she encounters as she's uncovering the case. From what I hear, it is a very, very good book. Not certain if I'm going to enjoy it. I think it's a little graphic from what I've heard, but we'll see. I, I mean, body horror doesn't really scare me all that much in books, but... You never know. I plan on reading this. If you've read it before, let me know your thoughts. Please no spoilers in the comments. Moving on! The next book I want to read is called The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. This is a book about a young woman named Libby Jones who has been in search of her biological parents. And I don't know if it's on her 25th birthday or if she's 25 years old. She receives a letter in the mail and she actually finds out who her parents are and she finds out that she's inherited a very huge elaborate mansion that is in, I believe, in disrepair and um, she wants to fix it up. When she gets there, she either meets a family who is familiar with the mansion or is currently living in the mansion and kind of horror slash thriller Esque vibes ensue. So I will keep you posted on how I feel about this. I don't know much about this book and I kind of want to keep it that way because I think in thrillers that can make things more <laughs> thrilling. Uh, <laughs> what? Anyways, let me know if you've read this. No spoilers again and I will let you know next month what I thought of it. Moving on. The next book I want to read is called People of the Book by Geraldine Brooks. This is a book about a very old text, I believe a Hebrew text. It takes place in 1996 and the text is from something like the 15th century. Yes, 15th century Spain. And they call in a woman named Hannah Heath to sort of um, not only preserve the text, but to investigate the text and find out what she can about its historical significance. And while she's doing so, she goes into the book and she finds different artifacts. And they are something like an insect wing and let me see here, salt crystals, a wine stain, and a white hair. And she uncovers not only a great deal about the text, but about the people who either had it in their possession or helped preserve it. So with that being said, I can't wait to read this. It gives me very um, National Treasure vibes. So if you're into Nicolas Cage National Treasure, I think this might be a book for you. I've had this book since it was published and it was published in 2008 and I still haven't read it. So can't wait to finally put this on my list of books that I have read. Moving on. The next book I want to read is called The Beauty and Breaking by Michelle Harper. This is a memoir of sorts. It's nonfiction, sort of um, autobiographical. And this book is about an African-American emergency department doctor. And she's kind of talking about what it means to be black in a predominantly white um, career and also a woman in a predominantly male career. You find out at the very beginning, it's actually on the, the um, flap on the inside, that she ends up um, separated from her husband and she starts off as a physician in a brand new city all by herself. And so I'm very interested to read this because I actually work in emergency medicine, very interested in going to medical school in emergency medicine specifically. 
um, that's the specialty that I'm interested in. So I will be, um, I'm curious to hear what it is like from a female's perspective, but also from a woman who very likely has a different perspective than I do. Moving right along. The next book I want to read is called The Deep. It is by Rivers Solomon and it has a bunch of other authors here. Um, but this book is just fascinating. I hope it lives up to its expectation because this book is about mermaids and specifically, mm, excuse me, Taco Bell. The mermaids are the babies of pregnant slave women who were thrown overboard. And when these children were born, they are mermaids, obviously, as I just said. And along with this story or part of this story is that the memories that these babies inherit from slavery is too much to bear and so they have one mermaid in particular in their colony they are called the historian and that one mermaid has to hold and carry all of those memories it gives me kind of the giver vibes if you're familiar with that where there's one person who inherits all of the memories um, and this historian in this colony decides that she can't stand it anymore, or he, I'm not, I'm not sure if this is even a gendered character, but they decide that they can no longer handle all the memories, so they decide to go to the surface and try to escape. I am so interested in this story, especially given that it is so short. Look how tiny it is. Um, but I will keep you posted. My mom tried to read it and she was not interested in it. She just, she could not get into the story. But then I saw other booktubers who were very interested and loved this book. So I'll keep you posted. Moving on. The last book on my TBR is The Midnight Library. And this is a book that I recently talked about um, in a movie I'm not making movies in a video where I discussed books that changed me or helped me want to be a better person this will be a reread for me this is a book about a girl or a woman named Nora she is m almost middle-aged not quite very dissatisfied with her life in the very beginning you find out that she takes her own life and when she passes over she wakes up in a place known as the midnight library which is between life and death and in this library there are books and she is able to read these books and they are different versions of her life had she made different choices and she's able to live all these lives and recognize whether or not the regrets that she has about her life are even worth the energy in holding these regrets this book is transformative and i highly highly recommend it that's why i'm rereading it so yeah that's what i have to say about this moving on all right, guys, that's all I have for the month of June. I will do a wrap up at the end of June and hopefully my next video will be on true crime. I sort of got into a slump, but I still want to connect with you. And I think that a lot of people out there actually do like to read, especially since the pandemic. We've all been able to sort of slow down, take a pause, maybe pick up something, um, a craft, a hobby or reading uh, to take up our time. And so I hope that you enjoy these little videos I've been putting out about books, but please stick around for my other crime content because I do intend to post very soon a crime case that I research and hopefully this time when I film it, everything goes as planned. All right, everyone, I will talk to you soon and thank you for joining me today. I will see you in the next video. Bye.